Hey guys, Live the Royal World here. I'm back with another vlog. I've got the lights on, so I look really yellow. My hair's a mess, of course. Um, what's been happening today? I, I went to Wilco. I walked to Wilco, I got some plants. I got two of these. Um, what can I put them on? Um, shit. Um, okay, I'll just put them on there now. I've got two of these. I don't want to even attempt at saying that word. There we go. I don't even want to attempt at um, saying that word. The one just underneath on the indoor plants. Um, as you can see, it was three pound, and I got two of them, which makes, which should make six pound. Why am I zoomed in? No, oh, zoom out. Uh, which should make six pounds, shouldn't it? Three plus three, six. Um, well, apparently not in Wilco. Three plus three equals one pound fifty. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to argue with it. So I'll just put it down. I'm not going to argue with it because I got like four pound fifty off, um, and then I had to pay five p for a bag. Which I bloody hate doing because it's annoying. Um, so I got two of them. They look all right. I think my cat ate a few leaves. So, they're the first two of many plants. Um, and these plants are for this big terrarium down here. Uh, which you probably can't see too well because it's pretty dark. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where the basking spot is going to be. And how to create a basking spot which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um... The problem is I have the the temperature in here is about 72 Fahrenheit um, and I want the basking spot to be about 80 but I don't know how to uh, increase it slightly. I've tried using a 60 watt bulb and of course that is too high it goes up to about 95 uh, which I don't want to do because it will create stress for the animal. Um, I might try a 40 watt bulb, um, but I have a feeling that's going to do the same thing. It will take it to about 90, um, or 85 maybe. Um, but I don't want to do anything over 82, um, because it will start creating stress for the animal. Let's just try and move all these leads out of the way. Um, so this is a 60, 60, 45 exoterra terrarium. Um, still smells of silicon. I'm going to leave it for a few days until the hydro balls come um, to do the drainage layer. Um, I've got that piece of log that Eric had, um, and now I've put in there, trying to uh, create a basking spot with that, and maybe another piece of log that I can find. Um, so, comment in the description box below how I can make a basking spot. Uh, Preferably with a light bulb, but that won't go over 82 Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't know what the lowest watt bulb that they do. Um, lowest watt bulb I can get is a 40, but I know that's still going to be too hot for them. Um, the nighttime temperature is usually 72 uh, to 65, which should be okay because. Um, usually at night time I'm at about, oh god I reset it, I'm usually at um, 64 to to 72, so that should be fine, um, as long, uh, yeah, so I'm not quite sure if I put a uh, Arcadia Jungle Dawn in, that will heat it up a bit, I'm not quite sure, um, I will be trying it, um, probably after this video, uh, unless I have something else to do. Um, so yeah, just comment in the description box how I can make this uh, um, heat up a bit. A bit. It's awkward because I want it to go up a few, a few degrees in Fahrenheit, which is bloody annoying. Um, I've got many things to be getting on with. I've got two videos to edit to schedule 
for next week. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload them both or not. I'll have to review them first. Um, and then I've got this terrarium here. This one here, the Eric's Old Tongue. Um, got his little tag there, which I need to move. Um, <clears throat> which is a bloody mess. Um, I don't think... I think I've only cleaned this out twice since I've had him. And it, it looks... It looks clean, relatively clean on camera, but I assure you it's not. Um, there's a bit of rust, but uh, it looks all right for an eight eight month old terrarium, which doesn't get cleaned very often. Um, the dirt along the hinge is really horrible. Uh, I will have to get a scrubbing brush and stuff it. Um, and there's a whole bunch of water in. Uh, other than that, there's just moss in there and this fake background, which I'm probably going to chuck. Um, unless someone else needs it, which I can post it off for a few quid. Uh, it, it's got a few holes in, a few holes in the back. But generally, it's pretty. It's a, It's in pretty good condition. Um, there's no. There's no rotting in the middle part or anywhere really. Um, it's all good. It's solid. It's pretty much, um, pretty much usable. Um, it obviously it's used and got a few holes, but in that, in that condition, it's fine. And I've also got this sixty sixty um, centimeter one, uh, big square. Uh, if you do want this, uh, message me over YouTube or Facebook, um, and I will send this off to you uh, with shipping cost. Uh, I don't want any money for it, I just want the shipping cost so I can send it off to you. Um, you can chop this into a smaller size if you want a smaller, uh, have a smaller terrarium or so. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't like using these just because it's a, more of a hassle for me. And to in order to plant plants on it, I'd have to cut holes into it, of which I don't like doing. Obviously it's polystyrene and when you cut it it gets everywhere, it's really annoying. Um, so I'd rather spend loads of money on doing this. <laughs> Seems stupid but yeah. So that has been this week. Um, um, so thanks for watching guys. Oh, this has only been a short one. Um, hopefully next week will be longer. I know last week was pretty long and this this week was short. Next week it'll pretty, pretty much be longer because more stuff is happening. Hopefully I'll have more plants to explain about. And hopefully I will set that thing up in a video shortly. Um, I'm not sure when. I think it'll be next week or the end of this week. Probably Saturday or Sunday, the weekend. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for them videos. And I have been Live the Real World. Of ugly known as Steve, if you like to call me by my first name, which is Steve. Um, and I will leave you guys with my new outro, which I hope you guys enjoy. And peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.